Greetings my dear students. Kaise hai aap log? I hope you all are going great. This is Dipankar Banik signing in. I welcome you to Soch, a place where we simplify your learning. Basically, Soch is an online learning platform meant for our CBSC students. So, good news, good news, good news for my CBSC students. You know what is that good news? The good news is that our Soch has come up with its own YouTube channel just to simplify various difficult topics which are involved in your curriculum. Let's get started off with our channel. My dear students, I'm so happy to tell you a beautiful, you know, concept related to your chapter 1 real numbers. You know what is that? The topic name as we know is the last topic that is revisiting, revisiting what? Rational numbers, RNI abbreviate and the DE as in decimal expansions. This is the topic that we know and this topic has three theorems. You know, the theorems are, the theorems are, theorems are 1.5, 1.6 and 1.7. People find it very difficult to interpret and remember because of its, you know, complexity of the statement. So let me simplify these three theorems within no time. So here we go. Now my dear students, today's topic is very interesting. People find very difficulty in understanding these three theorems of chapter 1 real numbers and the three come under this topic revisiting RN. RN stands for rational number and their DE that means decimal expansions. Now I have to simplify all these theorems so that at any point of time you can easily recollect you can easily you know recollect those theorem statements at the same time you are able to do questions on the basis of those three theorems so here we go number one this is theorem 1.5 let me read out the theorem for you and then simplify the whole thing let x be a rational number whose decim decimal expansion terminates kya matlab hua x be a any rational number so x is rational number that is r whose decimal expansion you know what they said terminates right then x can be expressed in the form so this is what is the given thing then matlab to prove or the result then x can be expressed in the form p by q this is what is given where p and q are co primes remember p and q both form co prime what is co prime let me check out co prime are those numbers whose common brightness their common factors common factors is one their common factors is one right factor is one common factor is one now where p and q are co primes and the prime factorization of q is of the form that means when i open up this denominator it comes uh, of the form it comes out of the form 2 raised to n and 5 raised to m this is a theorem mujhe to pura bouncer jata hai if i want to understand this theorem in a very simple manner what shall i do the first thing that i would do i would rather take the example just to verify see this is not the proof this is just the verification of this you know whole theorem so that i remember forever so x is a rational number let me not see this cumbersome statement so x be a rational number so i take say 3 by 8 why did I take 3 by 8? Because if I divide 3 by 8, then it comes out to be, if I just simply divide 3 by 8 here in a rough walk. So, this is 8 and this is 3. 0. 0.0. But Yes, 8 3s are 24. Then what is left is 6, 0. Then, yes, 8 7s are 56. Then what will happen? 4, 0, 8, 5 is 40. It comes to an end. That means decimal. This is decimal notation, right? Expansion ends. Terminates means ends. That means it comes out to be 0 0.375. Right? Now this is uh, what we understand that this given thing is the rational number. So therefore, uh, conclusion of the story would be 3 by 8 represents what? P by Q. Agreed. Now, 
Can't I express this P would remain P? Can't I express this as 2 raised to n, 5 raised to n? Let me check out. First of all, I should write 8 as 2 cube and P would be as it is, that is 3. Agreed? Because 8 is 2 into 2 into 2. Now, having understood, this 3 and 8 are co primes because 3 is 3 into 1 and 8 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 1. Both have you know common factor as one strictly one and therefore they are co primes and now i understand can't i find this answer using this how do i find very simple just to get the decimal notation i have to multiply by five as per the given thing it has to be multiplication of five raised to how many uh, raised to how how much integer that is three into 5 raised to 3 multiply numerator and denominator by 5 raised to 3 and therefore we get 3 into 125 whole upon 2 into 5 raised to 3 a raised to m b raised to m is a b raised to m as we know and therefore finally 3 into 125 is nothing but 375 375 upon yes class 375 can you check 10 cube and this is nothing but 375 upon yes thousand which comes out to be 0.375 which is the case so this is how the whole theorem gets verified right that means i in front of you i if i erase this whole theorem then this whole theorem can be just remembered forever by using two boxes one is the given box one is the result box so the two boxes suffices the whole theorem this is one box this is another box so first box is all about what given and second is the result the result which is to be proved this is the result that is to prove so what is the given thing my dear friends that x is a rational number that is x is a rational number whose decimal expansion what terminates this is what we understand terminates right now therefore this implies then this x can always be thought of as p by q where the denominator q can be expressed as 2 raised to n and 5 raised to m where of course p and q are nothing but co primes and this finishes the whole theorem within no time as simple as this so my dear students that's why I said Sochi is all about simplified learning. You know, the same class you can find in digital recorded form in our www.sochonlinelearning.com. Now, what I did, the whole cumbersome statement, बहुत ही difficult पढ़ने में जो था, उसको मैंने इसमें convert कर लिया, जिससे मुझे इतना समझता है, what I understand, if x is a rational number, of course, having terminating decimal like this, then it, it is of the form, of course, p by q, जहाँ पे जो q है, वो 2 raised to n, 5 raised to m होगा, what are n and m? They are integers of course non-negative integers the non-negative integers ka matlab hota hai positive see there are positive integers right now if i want to understand next theorem it is a peanut now for me you know what is the beauty of next theorem it is simply one word would suffice it is simply the converse of converse of yes one theorem number one point theorem number one point five so let me check out what is to be done simple ye box ko idhar kar do ye box ko idhar kar do so agar maine ye box ko idhar kar diya what will happen this box will go here so here we have been given x equal to p by q where q is of the form 2 raised to n 5 raised to m try to understand what is the beauty of this form 2 5s are 10 and 10 ka multiple kabhi bhi hamare jo number hai fraction ko wo kya karega terminate karega right as we understand better and you know, something by 10 gets terminated ends in decimal expansion so this is what is given in this case and of course the result would be so simple the result will be the two proof that we will find then x is nothing but a yes rational number having you know terminating decimal having terminating decimal expansion where the all the you know terms have their usual meaning so this is theorem 1.6 within no time pehla theorem dusra theorem opposite of 1.5 is 1.6 simple and straight 
सो मेरे प्यारे बच्चों वी सॉ दिस ट्यू टू थियरम थियरम 1.5 एंड 1.6 इन अ वेरी सिंपल मैनर बाय लुकिंग एट दिस टू बॉक्सेस यू कैन इजीली गेट इट नाउ थियरम 1.7 इट इज जस्ट एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ थियरम 1.6 सो थियरम 1.7 विदाउट गोइंग इनटू द स्टेटमेंट यू कैन ऑलवेज कन्वर्ट दिस सिंबॉलिक फॉर्म इनटू स्टेटमेंट राइट सो थियरम 1.7 1.7 में हम लोग ठीक 1.6 की तरह दो बॉक्स देंगे लाइक वन बॉक्स एंड टू बॉक्स एंड इन वन बॉक्स आई राइट द सेम थिंग x equal to p by q and this is equal to p by 2 raised to n 5 raised to n but this time we are putting that it is not equal to like this because yahan pe jo q hai it is not of the form 2 raised to n 5 raised to n how do i know for example if i take x equal to 1 by 7 so irrespective of your knowledge of factorization i know that p would remain p but q cannot be expressed as that is 2 raised to n and 5 raised to m form because 7 ke table mein na 2 aata hai na 5 aata hai right now then we say this x is is of course a rational number having what terminating decimal no this is having in this case non terminating non terminating and another thing is recurring decimal expansion right recurring decimal expansions right so basically these are the two tha forms what i should understand from here if i divide 1 by 7 what will happen you can check it out it will go in a very long way so i take a simple example i rather take the example of 1 by 3 see let's check out x equal to 1 by 3 3 cannot be expressed in terms of 2 and 5 multiplication of 2 and 5 so therefore it is not of the form p by 2 raised to n and 5 raised to n because q is not of the of this form so अब इसको डिवीजन देख लेते हैं द डिवीजन ऑफ वन बाई थ्री इज पॉइंट जीरो थ्री थ्री जा नाइन देन अगेन वन जीरो थ्री थ्री जा नाइन लेकिन अगेन वन जीरो थ्री थ्री जा नाइन एंड वन जीरो है ना एंड दिस कंटिन्यूस एंड दिस कंटिन्यूस दैट मीन्स दिस इज what is the फर्स्ट बॉक्स दैट इज गिवन एंड द रिजल्ट बॉक्स स्टेट दैट द X came out to be a rational number. Of course, one by three is rational number whose decimal expansion is dot dot dot. That means non-terminating. Its का मतलब क्या हुआ? Never ending. वो चलते जा रहा है निरंतर. Eternally it is going dot dot dot. And at the same time it is recurring because point three के बाद bar bar का मतलब वो bar bar आ रहा है three. So this is point three is recurring. So this is theorem one point seven. Wherein this is the given thing and this is the result. So within no time, my dear students. All these theorems got simplified for you. Theorem 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, and therefore we believe in simplified learning at all. So, so in the similar manner, we can actually visualize all this concept using our recorded classes like this, and you can get simplified notes like this. at the same time you can practice more by using our question bank questionnaire and mcqs like this so for getting all this under one roof you must visit our website sochonlinelearning.com and i would appreciate if you like subscribe share our channel and of course our website thank you